Does he want berries in his orifice? No. A paint can lid? Do you want a pencil? Nope. <laughs> no need to write on. Hey, this thing! No. Crowbar! No. A knife? <laughs> Does he need oil? It doesn't need to be oiled. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! There should be a really big nail. Right, that's where his nail should be. Where's your nail, Jesus? Shiny? It's clean enough. This thing? No, not the knife. That's silly. Screwdriver! Hammer! Well, I don't think I have enough stuff. I think we'll go upstairs. Items that seem to belong to a priest. <coughs> the Bible! More of the Bible, more of the Bible, more of the Bible, a nail, more of the Bible. Oh. Well, there you go. Big damn nail. That appears to be the only thing in there. Sorry, Jesus. I hate to do it. What? Oh. Hammer. Hammer! There's a nail inserted in the hole now. Yay! Okay. So? Hammer. Hammer. Hammer! Why did I put a big nail in him? Hmm. Why did I put a big nail in the Statue of Christ? Now can I use you? Hmm. <coughs> well, that is peculiar. Oh, Jesus. Why hast thou forsaken me with this unbearable puzzle? Okay. More fun times with... Jesus. Wait a second. Ha-ha! Zoinks. Can't reach it. Let's go around the other way. Oh, I can't see it from here. I see. <laughs> Some kind of small metal ring. Aha! out crowbar oh my god what that's ridiculous
Okie dokie. It's dark as shit in here. Uh, that seems to be a candle. I have one match left. <coughs> Books. Occultism and African cultures. Christopher, these may very well be my last notes in this regard. I'm afraid Catherine has already realized I've been, what I've been doing here all the time. In vain. I've tried to explain myself, and I know what might have been the outcome had I kept insisting. If you could only believe me, Christopher, because I know you intend well, but I can feel the doubt in your heart. Put your rational thoughts aside for a moment and yield to the facts. If I can do it, someone who was constantly taught in the wonders of science ever since his childhood, then so can you. I'm hoping you will contemplate the possibility of some truth in my assessment once you read about my latest findings. It is imperative that you carry on with this task. Catherine is watching my every step. I'm afraid she'll take strong measures if I do anything out of the ordinary. Did you know she's been talking to other doctors besides you and psychiatrists? My god, Christopher, I fear she's willing to shut me up in a madhouse. How is it possible that all of you won't believe me, as if what happened with my own son wasn't enough proof? In my adjacent notes, you'll find an exhaustive essay on the origin of the curse and what should be done to eliminate it. I know the whole amulet deal must sound crazy, but you have to trust me. The tribe has been doing this for centuries. Are you going to forfeit all that knowledge and experience? They faced a god, Christopher, and lived to tell it. Now it's our turn to live and tell the story. And Christopher, if we fail to remove the curse and anything happens to me, I want you to do it, and I have my complete mental faculties whilst I'm asking you. It has been becoming more and more dangerous lately. Do not hesitate. There is simply no other way, and you would be the only one left who can do it. Promise me you will. I know I'm asking you to become a cold-hearted murderer, but Christopher, our lives and possibly many others are at stake. Isn't that enough to forget your vow? <laughs> Okie dokie. The folklore of the Dalma R is just as disturbing as their vicious attacks. If my researches have been correct, then I could have stumbled upon one of the most ancient tribes ever known to humanity, dating back to the era where the so-called Bushmen inhabited South Africa. We're talking over 20,000 years ago. How could any civilization manage to survive all this time without ever hunting or expanding, just being there? I don't dare imagine what 200 centuries of inbreeding and cannibalism can do to people. I've seen them, and they can't be called humans. What is most unsettling is their mystical background. Impossible to be considered a religion due to its complete lack of basic rules of maturity. The only simple premise is to keep an evil entity at bay which has been stalking them since the beginning of time, or dark ages. <laughs> at this point in my research, I had to stop and consider the implications. The Dalma are actually thought of their later period, the systemat systematic slaughtering of mankind, as good times or golden ages. I thank the lord this tribe may never manage to grow, as I seriously think the region, maybe even the continent, would have suffered terrible consequences. This history is so ancient that it makes me feel dizzy. The vengeful god, which is incidentally referred to as Dolham, would control the Dalma R via its many incarnations. Most of the time it would be a tall feline-like figure, always dwelling in the shadows and slaying any villager who would unwittingly come close. Some say its deadly claws would not only penetrate your body, but your soul. The purpose of the harassment is unclear. It would look as if the Dalma R were simply toys to play with. It seems, then, that the Dalma R managed to free themselves from its clutches with the help of an amulet or charm, which would effectively force the entity to retreat. The most curious thing is how the amulet was conceived. Two main elements were required to perform the exercising of this evil, and they had to be strictly related to each other, one representing the victim, and the other representing the victimizer. To achieve this, something related to each one was used. While I'm not sure what is referred to as the victim, I think it can be concluded that anything belonging to any villager would have served, given that they were all victims. As for something representing the victimizer, that may have been more complicated. What could possibly be related to a god? This god in question. Next, these elements had to be mixed with a rare medicinal plant native to the region, which apparently had the properties to blend both items together, as long as they were not too solid. Finally, a branch of a particular tree whose name escapes me now had to be used as the holder of the blended items. 
it is on this item that a mysterious blessing was performed. It should be noted that all the elements had to be organic. That's good to know. The Dalmar successfully released themselves from the control of the vicious god with an intense ritual that seems to have taken days to perform. In the end, the amulet was so powerful that the entity surrendered to their will and offered divine power in exchange for sacrifices. But the Dalmar wouldn't allow it to be fooled. They decided that getting rid of this evil once and for all would be the wisest thing to do. So they managed to capture the spirit and store it someplace where they could guard it for ages to come. My god. My god. The evil spirit was cast into a mask. Trapped inside the confines of its blessed wood for eternity. A mask which its description bears uncanny resemblance to... Oh, who am I fooling? It's the mask that Dalmar would keep the spirit at bay via regular rituals involving the bloody sacrifices and the aforementioned amulet. The last book I read today about the Dalmar, in reality two small paragraphs, is a musing bonus reading in a book lent by the museum, has revealed to me something that left me completely paralyzed with terror. I've always wondered since I began studying them, what made the Dalmar savagely slaughter neighboring tribes without any apparent reason? Was it a violent, raw instinct? Did they feel threatened in any way? Was it a perverse, ungodly sense of enjoyment? No, it was fear. Fear that someone else would take the mask and release the god. They killed to protect themselves from falling again into the Dark Ages. If they went to such extreme lengths to avoid this, then what did they have to endure when the entity was free? The rituals haven't been performed on the mask for years now. What have I done? I was shocked to learn about this evil, terrible as it was. I still wondered to what extent James Blackwood went to get rid of the curse. <clears throat> okay, well that's creepy as hell. So, we have two organic African thingies. More books, more books. Let's get the hell out of here. I am done with this room. I say, please tell me I didn't read all that with my goddamn mute on. <laughs> well, now what? I want to find out. I want that damn shovel. Because it made no small point to show us where Catherine's body was buried in that picture. If we could find it. I know we're going to need the shovel. I would call her the victim, if anything else. Why can't I have the shovel? Oh. Because I'm stupid. That's why I can't have the shovel. Missing pixel! God damn it, game. And now we just have to find out where the body is. Let's go look at the picture again. <laughs> should we call Jerry? I don't know if we should call Jerry just yet. Wasn't he supposed to be coming out here? We never have to go to you again, tree. God damn it. There we go.